In this problem, we're being asked to graph this rational function, 2x plus 1 over x plus 2. And the main steps for graphing uh, a rational function are to plot the asymptotes first, and then test out some points and uh, see if you can figure out the graph from there. So let's look at the asymptotes. The vertical asymptote, of course, is where the function um, has 0 in the denominator. So in this case, that would be a negative 2. This appears to be in simplest form. I don't think there's anything I can factor uh, and cancel out. So x equals negative 2 would turn this denominator into 0. So that is the line that is our asymptote. So we'll just put a, a big red line at x equals negative 2. So there's one asymptote. Next, we need to figure out if it has a horizontal asymptote. And in this case, the degree of the numerator and denominator is what determines that. Uh, we have uh, x to the first power on top and x to the first power on the bottom. So they are even, they are equal. And that uh, follows this rule. So if the degree of the numer numerator equals the degree of the denominator, then there's an asymptote at this line, which is the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. So the leading coefficient, that's the coefficient, the number multiplied by the highest power of x. Highest power of x is just x, so it's 2 on top. And on the bottom, we just have x, so that's 1. So our line is y equals 2 over 1, or just y equals 2. So we'll plot that in, here, in there. OK. So there are our asymptotes. And you probably are familiar enough with rational equations by now that you know there's going to be a couple of arms, maybe one down here and one up here, or maybe one over here and one over here. We can figure that out by just choosing some points to plot. I always like to choose uh, x equals 0 first. That's a simple one to figure out. In this case, that would be 1 over 2, or 1 half. So we'll go ahead and plot the point 0, 1 half. So it looks like we're going to have an arm over here. Let's try O2 oh, for x, let's say. That would be 5 on the top and 4 on the bottom. So 2 and a little over 1. You can see what it's doing up here. Let's take one more point um, where x is negative. Let's do a negative 1. <clears throat> that would be negative 2 plus 1, a negative 1 on the top and negative 1 plus 2, a 1 on the bottom. So that would be negative 1. So the point negative 1, negative 1 is on this graph. And that's probably enough to start sketching in a rough approximation of our graph here, at least this portion of it. OK, so there's that one. Now let's see what happens as x gets even more negative. Let's choose uh, negative 3 for x. That would be a negative 6 plus 1. That'd be a negative 5 over. And a negative 3 plus 2 would be a negative 1. So that would be a positive 5. So negative 3, positive 5. So way up here. And let's do a negative 4 as well. So negative 4, 2 times negative 4 would be negative 8 plus 1. That'd be a negative 7 on top. And a negative 4 plus 2 would be a negative 2 on the bottom. So that would be a positive 7 halves, so 3 and a half. So 4 and 7 halves, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3 and a half would be here. And we could plot another point, but you can probably already guess what this is going to look like, another arm like the other one over there. So that is how to graph a rational function uh, where you have a linear over a linear.